You're wondering what it's like to create a custom widget on Duda? Well, I'm gonna show you the high level example of what it's like in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go through the basic concepts, show you the gotchas, the stuff that took me a little bit to figure out, so you can get in there and start building custom widgets right away. Now, there are some prerequisites for this video. For starters, you're gonna to need to know HTML and have worked with some sort of templating system before. But I think, I think it's still valuable to be able to show you behind the scenes on what it goes into building a custom widget. And there might actually be some use cases where you don't need to use HTML. So it's good to know this in general. The other prerequisite is that you have to have an agency account or higher in order to access the custom widget builder or install widgets on your account. All right, so those are the two prerequisites. Let's dive into what the custom widget builder looks like. Before I jump into the actual widget builder, I'll just say what inspired this is that I created a custom widget that allows me to use different types of dividers or separators to break up sections so everything's not so grid-like. I added a bunch of them in here and it allows me to change out the design and the colors so it matches my theme. There's other functionality and features in here too. I covered a bit more in my last video. If you're interested in this, click the link below, join the wait list, and when it is finalized, I will let you know and send you an email. So what's cool about learning how to build a widget is you actually under, already understand the concepts as a Duda builder. So let's take the button widget for example. You have the edit content and the edit design tab. So the content is gonna be stuff relevant to a button, so the link and the text. And then the design is going to be all the design stuff that's relevant to a button. And so when we're in the widget builder, we're gonna go over to the widget dashboard, click create new widget, call it whatever you want. And in here, you have the, the same concepts. You have the content editor. This is where you can add fields of what you want them adding in the content section. And then the design section is how you can design that out. And then lastly, you have your HTML where you're gonna be able to output whatever they add uh, to the content tab. And then you have your design, JavaScript file, stuff like that. And then you also have a settings tab where you're able to rename your widget, add the icon so it shows up in the left sidebar and then decide where it's categorized under. All right, so let's dive into building a widget that simply says hello, and then instead of world, we'll do hello, the name that they type into the field. So we need to create a field. We're gonna go over to the content section, click add input. We're gonna use the text input, but take a look at all the other ones in here. You've got images, some other stuff, um, and it just depends on what kind of data you wanna upload. We're gonna give this variable a name um, because we're actually asking for the name like, you know, John, we're gonna say name and then the descriptive label for people, we're gonna do name but capitalize it. You can connect this to data. Very useful if you want custom widgets to connect with data. I'm gonna make this required and leave everything else as is for this demo. Now we need to print out this variable. So we're gonna go over to the HTML and in the HTML, they actually have a very nice editor here. It's pretty responsive for it being like in the UI and for it not being due as like main feature. It actually works really well. It wraps it into a div with a custom widget ID, which is a good thing, you can't change that. And then here we're gonna print out our, um, our sentence or our phrase, we're gonna say hello, and then our variable name was name. So we're gonna do double brackets and then name. This uses handlebars, documentation's up here for handlebars. You can also access the documentation for Duda's widget builder up here. If you worked with a templating system before, you'll know to you know just modify syntax to match handlebars. And then that's that, so we've got hello name, and what's cool is you can click preview, you don't have to click save or publish, and that'll automatically bring open another tab and preview your latest changes. And here we're gonna say create today, and then click out of it, and then boom, it shows up. So you can see how it's dynamic, it'll take whatever input you have in there and display it on the page. Now the design tab always comes with animation and spacing, but say if we wanna add additional design elements, we can go back here, add inputs here, uh, depending on how we wanna change it. So um, there are a bunch of different options. What do we wanna go with here? We can go with the color picker and say name color. So let's only change the color of the name. And then here I'm gonna use a variable in order to get that CSS uh, hex code into, or it's like RGB, into my uh, file here. Hard to code and talk at the same time trying to explain this in 10 minutes. So we're gonna say this is the color for name. That's gonna be our variable. And the default value, let's give it something just so it shows up. We'll make it black or close to black. And then head over to the HTML. And then we'll wrap the name in a span. And then give this a style equals uh, color and then brackets, color name, and then move the name over into the span. And now we should be able to change 
that. So we click preview, click back over to the other tab, click on our widget, and then create today. We can see that the color is already different, and we can go in here and then give it another color. My brand color is somewhere in the purple, so we'll do something like that. And then there we go, hello create today. All right, that's the basic concept. I wanna publish this. So now what we do is click save. We have that revision saved, and then we click publish. So once you publish it, you're good to go. And then say if we make a change, and say if we use this widget on our sites, and then we go back to our widget editor, which is independent of the site. So this widget can be used across your whole dashboard, all of your sites. And you go in here and you make a change, and uh, you just put something in here that says, uh, enter your name or something, I don't know. And then we click republish, and then here you have the option to give a like revision note so you can say what you changed. So like, you know, added description. And then here's what's cool is you can click update all widgets on all published sites. So it'll automatically go out and update on all of your sites. So next time you go there, you'll see that your widget is up to date. Now, actually I shouldn't have put enter your name here. I should really go to the content editor and what you can do is add input and then there's a description one, and then say, add your name. And then there's also like little formatting options here. Like you could add a divider, which adds the little line. Look at all the options so you get an idea of like what is available and uh, how dynamic you can get. But really you can take input from the visitor, whether it's from a collection, whether it's from the content input right here, and then you can design it out in your HTML uh, or lay it out in your HTML and design it in your CSS. They give you a global CSS as well as a desktop and mobile. And then you have a JavaScript file here too. And you're actually able to access the uh, properties from your widget. So if you wanna access just like the variable names like we did in HTML, you can access that in, in JavaScript as well. You could also do um, conditions in here. So this gets more into handlebars, but we can say like if, uh, Actually, let's do equals, and then we'll say the name, and then we'll say create today. Then we'll put here uh, an H2 and say great channel, create today. Go and sub. Cheeky smile. And then we'll end the equals uh, slash equals. And we'll move the H1 above. And then this should theoretically print that out only if we type in create today. So we're gonna preview this. Boom, there, it shows up. And then if we like misspell it or whatever, if it's not create today, it won't show up. So you can get dynamic on what you wanna lay out. That's very handy because when you're using widgets, especially in uh, your dynamic pages, you can't get dynamic. So you can't say only show this widget if there's data in it in the column or the row, but now you can if you create custom widgets. So there's a lot of use cases for these and you can reuse them throughout your whole account. So that is how you create custom widgets on Duda in less than 10 minutes. I hope that gives you a good understanding of the uh, dashboard and how it allows you to create custom widgets. It's fun to build widgets because you're able to do stuff your competitors aren't doing and it's just fun to build stuff online. Um, so unlike the, the pick, I'm not good at building stuff in person. Online is where it's at. But hey guys, I appreciate you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys watching until the end and we'll catch you in the next one.